check one. It's big and trick trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. Hello, good evening, welcome, happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to another night of trivia, general knowledge trivia. My name is Ali with Bag of Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if this is your first time playing, do make sure that you join the online game. Here on YouTube is where you can hear and see me ask the questions, but in order to actually participate and answer, you want to join the online game it's very simple just open up an internet browser go to online.bigatricks.com it's going to ask you for a code the code tonight is just tricks t-r-i-c-k-s once you input that code it will then ask you for two pieces of information so if you look on my screen here all you have to do is tell it a name or a nickname or team name if you will and then what state you're playing from if you're here in the united states if you're in a different country feel free to let us know that once you put those two pieces of information and click on go, you are all set. Nothing else you need to do. Game's gonna start here in just a couple of minutes when I click the start button. So once you have that done, hang tight. We're waiting for people to join. I still see this ticking up. Um, and we'll go over a few things. First of all, happy Monday. Hope everybody's Monday is going okay. Uh, looks a little different here. We're currently transitioning to a different spot in the house. So no green screen behind me tonight. This is just our plain Jane, slightly eggshell wall. Uh, so thanks for being here. We're gonna play general knowledge trivia in just a few minutes. I'll tell you how the game works right before we start, but before we do that, I'll tell you what we have coming up this week. It's gonna be a fun week. Tonight is only Monday and we have events almost every night this week. Tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, we don't have anything going on. I took the day off. I'm gonna start doing that on Tuesdays. Take a little rest, a uh, little rest break. Uh, but on Wednesday, we have two events for you. We have Music Bingo with Bobby K at seven o'clock. He's doing uh, the Bobby K retrospective. He's, he's gonna play some of his favorite songs that he's played over the last three months for Music Bingo. So it's gonna be a really fun one. Uh, that's at seven o'clock on Wednesday. And then nine o'clock on Wednesday is general knowledge trivia, just like we're doing here tonight, but different questions. And that event is sponsored by the incredible Sazes. Uh, they sponsored an event for us last week. If you win trivia on Wednesday night, Saz is the sponsor. Delicious Barbecue Place. They do many things, but Delicious Barbecue uh, out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can win a $25 gift card or some incredible prizes, um, uh, coupons that you can use depending on where you're at if you're not in the Milwaukee area. So be sure to join us Wednesday night. And then Thursday, two events again for you. 7 o'clock is general knowledge trivia, and those categories will be chosen by, by our donation drawing winner for this week. So I'll let you know what those are soon. And then Thursday at 9 o'clock is The Good Place Trivia. A lot of you have asked for it. I'm very excited to do it. I love the show. Um, so please join us. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll cover all the seasons of Good Place, so a good reason to go back and binge it. I already saw a few of you starting uh, to binge it again. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for being there. I think we'll be celebrating uh, Jim. Uh, I, we don't call him Jim. We call him Jennifer Hus Sterna's husband. <laughs> Sterna? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's his birthday, too, and he likes that show. So please come back on Thursday with us. And then... Friday is actually a free game to play. It's not a fundraiser, but it is sponsored by the Mount Prospect Library. And I don't think I've mentioned this anywhere online, but it's actually going to be hosted by Phoebe. So if you're a fan of Phoebe, and the only reason you wouldn't be is if you haven't seen her yet. Because once you've had an event with Phoebe, you're going to love her. She'll be hosting Disney trivia on Friday. That'll be online. It's free to play. All you have to do is check out the Facebook event. I actually linked it 
in our weekly events posts on the Vega Tricks main page. It's pinned at the top. So check that out. The links will be there in the event. Um, so join us for, for some or all of these events this week. We have a great lineup of events coming up next week as well. A great fundraiser coming up next Friday for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. Uh, we have some great theme trivia nights and Gina's birthdays coming up. So we're going to have some categories chosen by her coming up very soon. And she's told me what they are, and I'm very excited to write that for you all. We also have holiday uh, movie trivia Christmas in July, if you will. That's going to come up here in the next couple weeks. So keep an eye out. Lots of fun events coming up online but at the same time we are starting up more in-person events slowly and safely but you know tonight we were out at red arrow in naperville tomorrow we'll be at pollyanna brewing company in st charles and at two pints lounge in bolingbrook on wednesday we will be at pollyanna in lamont doing general knowledge trivia on thursday we'll be at two pints again but this time it'll be aaron doing music bingo um, we also have events intermittently at elmhurst brewing company and for those of you in the city i'm looking at you sarah v who just moved into the city i just heard we will have our first event starting back up within chicago proper in the lincoln park neighborhood at tapster one of our favorite favorite venues we've been with them forever very excited to get it started back up um, they're being very serious and very straightforward with all of their protocols regarding covid um, so you can see everything on our facebook page i just posted that event today that's going to be every thursday at 7 30 starting in august so lots of fun events coming up uh you don't want to miss them but if you don't want to go out, we're going to continue to do these online events as well. So thank you for joining us, however it is. And before I forget to say it, thank you so much to anybody out there who donates to Bag of Tricks. Uh, so as we slowly start these events back up, that's great. Uh, but these online events are, are still free to play. So we rely entirely on your donations to help us put these on. Um, the, the platforms that we use and, and what we do to put these games together and make them happen, um, your donations go a really long way to making more and more events happen. Um, so thank you to everybody that already has donated. If you're interested, these links will be down here all night. We accept donations through Venmo, PayPal, or Zelle, uh, and we really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much to those of you that already have, anybody that will. Uh, Amy already did, I just saw this. Thank you, Amy, for the donation. We appreciate it so much. Um, so with all of that said, I still need to choose. I'm going to choose one person from last week's donations that will be the donation drawing winner, and you get to choose the categories for Thursday's trivia night. Uh, so keep an eye out for an email from me. Otherwise, that's it. I think we're ready to get into this game. I'm going to pop up into the corner, and then I'll let you know one more time in order to actually play, in order to participate. You're not answering here on YouTube. You're going to answer on the online app, uh, the online game, online.begatrix.com. Enter in the code TRICKS. So let me take a look at these comments. I hear Gina typing away over there. Uh, let's see. Hey, Christy Ann. Hey, Maggie. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Amy. Lindsay Davis, welcome back. Hey, John Jay, my friend. Uh, who else is out there? Hey, Bobby Kate. Could not have been the rhyme. <laughs> oh, well, good on you for Bobby trying. Kate, did you put on the closed captions? Yeah. So that makes a huge difference. Put on the closed captioning when you watch Hamilton. It makes it so much easier. Um, Lindsay, hey Becky, welcome back. Love the high tech background. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Hey, Jen Sterna or Jen's husband Sterna, uh, whoever's behind the keyboard. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Alvin Sakura. Uh, who else? Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy Griffin. How you doing? All right. So once again, thank you all for joining us tonight. We're gonna have a lot of fun. These questions are about anything and everything. Some of them are easy, some of them are tough. They're all worth a different point amounts as we go through it. We're gonna start out with multiple choice questions. I'll ask you the question. I'll start your 30 second timer. Every question has a 30 second timer. Once I start the timer, you're gonna see four options pop up on your screen. All you have to do is click the answer that you think is right. So it's always either A, B, C, or D. Once you click an answer, you can't change it. So be careful, but click it as quickly as you can because you earn more points the faster you get your answer in. If you're still wondering how it works, that's okay. I sped through that because we're gonna do a practice question. So the very first question tonight will introduce you to how the system works, but it's not worth any points, so no pressure. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, questions from anything and everything tonight. Um, anything to add? No, just chatting, 
just yeah. chatting. Can we get a big thank you in that chat to Gina for no, being no, here no, every no, single no, time no. we do this? I'm over here having fun drinking in front of the camera, and she's chatting away, typing, 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 and you know, hi. keeping you guys up to date. So big old thank Thanks, you to guys. Gina. Somebody else is here with us. Taco will just say hi. Uh, okay, and we're back. Here we go. Everybody, cheers. Let's start this game. Let's go. Question number one. This is the practice question. Oh, where's the picture? <laughs> okay. Question one. What is the name of your host today? That's me. What is my name? Not worth any points. Again, this one just for fun, so don't take it too seriously. You're just learning how the system works. What is the name of your host? Oh, you have to type it in. Type it in. What's my name? I didn't make it multiple choice. Oh, my gosh. Have fun. Yeah. Oh, God. Let's see, who's, let's see who's nice, and let's see who's not. Oh, I get the feeling that um, Stephanie or Crystal's out there. I see a birdhouse comment already. Oh, yeah. They're here. Oh, we should just do it like this for now on. Somebody suggest I think Brian suggested it a long time ago. Or or Chris B suggested doing this as a text question. All right, let's see what you guys said. Most of you went for the straight laced answer. Uh, Ollie or Ollie Bag. Uh, both of those Aww. would be correct. Somebody said Prince Ollie, the best bird Albert house builder Bags. around. Thank you. Yeah, Albert Bags. I like down at the bottom. Ollie Xander <laughs> Hamilton. Um, I know Lindsay's answer. Yeah. What's his name? Thanks, <laughs> yeah. Lindsay. Um, so, so anything good. like this would get points just so you see what it looks like uh, this is actually we will do this for now on because I can show you what it looks like for me to correct things so good job if you were a part of that 55% you would have earned points but this wasn't worth any points so here we go some of these questions are easy I think the first one's pretty simple but they I, I'm not gonna lie just um, a preface I think tonight's multiple choice questions are gonna be one of those tougher nights so let's see if you agree Question two, during the 1990s, Michael Jordan briefly retired from the NBA to take his shot at what sport? Was it football, soccer, baseball, or tennis? Oh, he nailed it, yes. <laughs> Taco is also an accurate answer, yeah. What am I drinking? Mm. Uh, so it's a riff on a Manhattan, because I don't think we have sweet vermouth. Mm. Gina made it, it's um, bourbon. And uh, Dubonnet. Dubonnet, Rouge. Yeah, some, an aperitif, um, and then bitters. It has a kitty on it. It does? Yeah. Mm. Uh, so some Dubonnet, some bitters, um, uh, an orange peel, and some cheap cherries. Cheap. Did you change up the colors during the video? <laughs> oh, yeah, Lindsay, there's no background right now. Oh, no, on the um, options for answers. They but, are different, because sometimes they're like green. green oh, right? maybe, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, this is double social. That's two drinks, my friends, because every single person got this right. Nobody missed it. All 33 of you, cheers to all of you. Double social. We'll call it a social sociable. All right. Question three. Uh, let's see if they continue to be different. Yeah, they are. I did change them, I guess. Uh, question three. Which historical figure died on the island of St. Helena? Or St. Helena, if you will. Was it Christopher Columbus, Peter the Great, Julius Caesar, or Napoleon Bonaparte? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Christian, how don't you know? Um, you probably just like clicked it without thinking. Or yeah, anything. so I think. I know sometimes you change them to match. Yeah, I'm gonna try something. But maybe that's what happened. I'm wondering if so. Like now it's green again. Let's see if it's still green on the next question, because what probably happened is I changed it for one question and I didn't realize that it changed it on all of them. But otherwise, I'm not sure, my friends. Now that I see, I missed the other. Yeah, I don't like these anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, four of you said Christopher Columbus. Two people said Peter the Great and Julius Caesar each. 26 of you said Napoleon Bonaparte, which is correct. Good job. 
We'll go to question five before we look at the standings. Uh, no, now it's purple again. Guys, I don't know what the hell I Yay, did. Yeah, we liked it. Question four. In the Disney animated film Pocahontas, Miko is which kind of animal? In the film Pocahontas, Miko is which kind of animal? Is it a squirrel, a bear, a raccoon, or a hummingbird? I can paint. Yeah, I did this on purpose, Nicole. You can paint with all the colors of the wind. Uh, that's why I changed the colors for you guys. I have no idea why the colors changed. Like, I don't know how to set the default colors. This is crazy. Anyway, this is a social as well. Great job, everybody. Raccoon is the correct answer. There was a hummingbird in Pocahontas, and its name was Flit. Uh, so cheers. I love Nico. When I see what a cutie. Not like the raccoon in our backyard who keeps knocking the bird feeder off the tree. He's so cute. Uh, he is cute. Uh, question five. Which of the following is an aerosol hairspray known for helping create some of the largest and most over-the-top hairstyles of the 80s. Which of these is probably the most popular brand of aerosol hairspray from the 80s? <laughs> Was it jet lag, hyperspray, liquid velvet, or Aquanet? <laughs> what was the name of the fat pug? Percy, yeah, yeah, uh, Percy was the dog. Rad Radcliffe's, here, Radcliffe's dog, right? Governor Radcliffe. Mm -hmm. Good job. Trash Panda. Oh, remember Gary? Yeah, little pink trash man. Uh, everybody's in, and this is another social. Uh, so when I first glanced at this gif earlier, I thought it was Tina Turner, and then I realized it's Sebastian Bach. Oh my god! Like that god. hair that is hair just is incredible. Good. Uh, so good job, almost all of you correctly said. Aquanet, cheers to that. That's another social. We're getting our drinks in tonight. Remember when I said that I thought that this round was tough? Who am I? All right, let's look at the standings for the first time. First, second, and third place will be at top of the screen. Everybody else is going to rotate through, so take a look. See where you're at. Currently in first, the rights. No shirt, no service. And second, tacos party people in third. Uh, if you host it, they will play Trivia in 12th. I like that name. Uh, hey, Nicole, team name, network connectivity problems, entanglement, freshness for something. Hey, Miss LaRocca and Bert. Hey, Alvin, I see you out there. Team Canada, A-hole numero uno up in seventh. Mad Dad in sixth. Steffi Star in fourth. Uh, Captain Cheesecake, I love that name, but I get so hungry. The hey. spicy meat the balls out there. Sex Panther. What's it, 60% of the time it works? 100% of the time. I can never remember that quote, but what a movie. Oh, Taco, thanks for doing something on the camera. All right, here we go. Question number six. What independent Seattle record label became the epicenter of the grunge movement by signing bands like Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Mud Honey, where's Crispy? <laughs> Mud Honey. Uh, what was the name of that independent Seattle record label? Is it Sub Pop, Alchemy, Barsic, or Epic? Who's getting rowdy on a Monday? Yeah. Taco. taco? <laughs> Big Baby Pudding Snatcher. <laughs> Lindsay, our backyard is a wildlife exhibit. It is. Amazing. Oh, I am with the socials. I got you, Amy. We are getting a little rowdy on a Monday. <laughs> oh, wow. This one. So maybe this is where the round starts getting tough. A quarter of you said Sub Pop. Six of you said Alchemy. Two of you said Barsic. And 19 of you said Epic, which is not the right answer. It is Sub Pop. Sub Pop, the correct answer. Underground. Great job. Question number seven. Speaking of music, OMDs 
If You Leave was recorded for the soundtrack of what 1980s teen movie? Was it The Breakfast Club, Say Anything, 16 Candles, or Pretty in Pink? That's where I got my record player slip mat. Love it, Lindsay. Going with my bae, Patrick Dempsey, even if you're wrong. <laughs> oh, I love Patrick Dempsey. Everybody's in. What a scene when she walks in. In Pretty in Pink. Correct answer is Pretty in Pink. Good job, 17 of you. We did watch that. Yeah, we did. When we were doing John Hughes movie trivia. Uh, this is the first of two John Hughes questions I have tonight for you. Uh, question number eight. The Trevi Fountain. Pictured here, the Trevi Fountain is located in which city? Trevi Fountain, famous fountain, located in which city? Is it Moscow, Paris, Barcelona, or Rome? Oh, I'd love to be there. I mean, not right now. Yeah. <laughs> Derek forever. Wah. All right, everybody's in. I wasn't sure about this one. But you guys destroyed it. <laughs> Another social. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, 34 of you said Rome, and 34 of you were correct. Great job. Also, Vegas at the um, Venetian, Jen. Is that what this is? Oh, yeah, because they do like a Vegas, copy of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like saying, Where's the Eiffel Tower? And somebody says Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, oh, I mean. Have you seen it in real I life? guess. Oh, I thought it was beautiful. But you're right, you're right, you're right. Caesars. Caesar. Well, Caesars would make sense, right? And they do, like, the the fountain, like, with the lights and the music, right? They could do a show. Is that the Bellagio? Vegas. Oh, God. I I've never know. been to I've Vegas. I've been to Vegas once. I'm I, I was, like, ready to go in February. And I was like, yeah, let's go. We're going to go soon. We were going to go to a trivia yeah, convention. Yeah, we were going to go to a trivia convention. That's a thing, guys. How boring does that sound? Well, we were going to do it. Uh, question number nine. Um, who was the first president of the United States to appear on television? Who was the first United States president to appear nationally on television? Was it Franklin Roosevelt, Herbert Hoover, Harry Truman, or Dwight Eisenhower? Nice uh, pronunciation. Thank you. Alexander Hamilton, <laughs> not the first president on TV. Maggie, does um, does Addison like Hamilton? Have we talked about that? I think she started it, but then you stopped it. No, that was a different movie. I think she likes does it. Does she like Hamilton? She loves it. Okay, good. Good to know. <laughs> She's good taste. Jen Stern, I wasn't, I wasn't bothered. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't really bothered at all. He had to call you out because he had nothing to call Lindsay out for. Yeah, Lindsay hasn't given me anything yeah, to call Yeah, Just her Mercy out. is the one they started. And yeah. She we haven't watched. We haven't watched that one yet. That's the Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx one, right? Yes. What about that EJI? Yes. Uh, let's see how you did. 19 of you said Franklin Roosevelt, and 8 of you said Truman. 5 each <laughs> said Hoover and Eisenhower. Not Hoover. Hoover. Um, the correct answer was Franklin Roosevelt. <laughs> um, I forget what it was, but it was in 1939, I believe. Uh, sometimes, so just a heads up, if you play a lot of trivia, uh, a more common question that people will ask was who was the first president to give the State of the Union on TV? Um, let me see who that was. Because it wasn't Roosevelt. Uh, that was Lyndon B. Johnson. So just in case you play a lot of trivia, let me help you out. Franklin Roosevelt, the first person to ever be on TV uh, in 1939, but Lyndon B. Johnson was the first one to give the State of the Union. Uh, 
Uh, let me see. Roosevelt. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, that's why. It was the 1939 New York World's Fair. He gave a speech, and it was televised. So extra trivia. You didn't ask for it, but you got it. Question. And here's that other question I mentioned. John Hughes's final directing credit. So be careful here. He directed, produced, wrote, lots of different things. John Hughes' final directing credit is for what 1991 Jim Belushi film? Was it Curly Sue, Beethoven, Home Alone, or Only the Lonely? That's fun to say. Only the Lonely. She loves it. <laughs> Lindsay, I am glad I can make you sober giggle. I love Ducky. Yeah. Ducky was done so wrong. Oh, I Remember know. how much I hated the end of that movie? When we recently yeah. watched it, I was so mad yeah. at him. No, Ducky, get the fucky out of there, Ducky. Don't go back to her. She don't deserve Ducky. Uh, the correct answer here, I mean, he was a little stalkerish, don't get me wrong. Um, but the correct answer here is Curly Sue. Curly Sue, this is the movie that I always get eye rolls at when I include in John Hughes trivia uh, nights. Like I'll ask a random question about Curly Sue uh, and people will give me shit about it. But you know, it's the last movie he ever directed. Um, he wrote and, and produced other ones after this. All right, question 11, final multiple choice. The 1955 novel, The Body Snatchers, was made into a film. You can see a picture here. 1955 novel, The Body Snatchers, was penned by which science fiction author? Was it Ray Bradbury, Philip K. Dick, Isaac Asimov, or Jack Finney? Yeah, I'll go back. I, I see your, your message here uh, on Facebook. I'll go back and check question eight for you. Uh, let's see how you guys did here, though. 15 of you said Ray Bradbury. 13 of you said Jack Finney. The correct answer was Jack Finney. Jack Finney. Ray Bradbury considered basically the father of um, science fiction. Not the father, but he, you know, he did a lot of it. Philip K. Dick did a lot of it. Isaac Asimov, probably more the father. Um, but Jack Finney, the correct answer here. Hey, thanks, Laura, for the donation. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to show you guys the standings, and then I'm going to see if it'll let me go back and look at these questions. Nope. Okay, hold on. Let me pop back to this question, and I'll throw these up there for you. Okay. So take a look at the standings, see where you're at. Emily's in first. Congratulations. Alan Buford the third in second. Ejo numero uno in third. Congratulations, everybody else. See where you're at. Let me check on this. Uh, so the individual who messaged us, I'm not sure what it showed you on your phone, but I can see on my screen that you were awarded 146 points. Well, maybe try refreshing. Yeah, try refreshing. And also don't get freaked out by the colors because if you click on something and it's the answer that's in red, it might make you think that you got it wrong. But that's just because it's the red answer. Um, but I know for a fact, right, the person that's messaging me about this would very much know about a fountain in Rome, right? Oh, yes. Am I on the right? Yeah, this is an Italian person that's talking to me right now. <laughs> uh, so trust me, I'm looking into this and you got points. You were you were awarded 146 points for it. I can see it on my screen. Um, so don't you worry. I'm not sure what showed up on your phone, but you did get the points. Okay, good. Good, 
and you're in fourth place right now. So good job. All right. So my friends and comrades, we are going to switch things up. We're no longer going to do multiple choice questions. We are now going to do questions that resemble the practice question we did earlier. So from this point on, you actually are going to have to type your answer in. I'm not starting it just yet. Um, you're actually going to have to type your answer in. So I'm going to ask you a question. But you're still going to have a 30 second timer. But from this point on, you, if you're correct, you earn all the points. And if you're wrong, you earn none of the points. Excuse me. So take your time. There's no rush. You don't have to type you know, really fast and mess up everything. Take your time. Spell as best as you can. Get your answer in just before that timer hits zero. Other than that, you know, it's pretty much straightforward. So these first five questions tonight, number 11 through 16. Nope. Yeah, 11, uh, 12 through 16 will be all about what we started the game with tonight, basketball, the NBA, the National Basketball Association. Is that what it stands for? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Probably. Um, so the next five questions, NBA teams, I'm going to give you either the city or the state, and you just have to tell me the team that's associated with it. So in the NBA, if I said... If, you, if, you, if your uh, question was, what NBA team is from Chicago, the answer would be the Bulls. That's not one of them tonight. Um, I tried to make sure that I avoided any cities that have multiple, like LA, um, or I believe New York, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but each of these should only have one answer. So type it in. Here we go. Get that answer in before time yeah, runs out. Seth, so thank God the Angelicas aren't playing tonight. Oh, yeah. I was going to give them a whole sports thing, too. All right, here we go. Question 12. Name, name the NBA team by the city or state. What NBA team is Phoenix? The Phoenix what? Go sports ball. Yes, Lindsay. Technically, they all play at Disney World right now. Oh, yep. I know this. Entanglement. Well, I like it. Is it still on top? No, it's not. Um, Jackson just came in here trying to read the options. Winning normally couldn't care less to read anything ever. Oh, hey, Jackson. I don't know if you're still there, but what's up, my friend? Thanks for the uh, potato. What are they called? Um, hickory. The hickory sticks. Sticks? I don't know, maybe. Uh, They're delicious. They're delicious. Yeah, whatever they are. All right, everybody's in. Let's see what you guys thought. So somebody gave me the whole name, uh, and that's still correct. They are not the Phoenix Dumble. Oh, oh! I just got that. The Phoenix Dumbledores. That's cute. That's adorable. Um, you know what? There's no prize tonight, so you're getting points. I don't give a shit. The Phoenix Suns is the correct answer. The Phoenix Suns. Great job. Great job. If you don't know the answer, write something that maybe will make me laugh. There's no prize on the line tonight. We're playing for fun. Um, so maybe you're in some points. I'll, I'll be pretty uh, stingy with those, but the Phoenix Dumbledores made me made me wait for a second. So you got some points. Question thirteen: Name the NBA team by the city or state. The Oklahoma City what? Oklahoma City what? Taco's a Beatles haircut right now. Oh, Taco does look like he could be in the Beatles. <laughs> he has bangs. Oh, cutie. He needs a groom. Yes, he does. Hey, Abby, where are you at? She's with the doggy. Hmm. Cool. Let Abby know I'm going to give him a cut. <laughs> we can just live stream me giving Taco a groom. Super. All right, everybody's in. <laughs> Somebody said the thunder from down under. And that is correct because they are the Oklahoma City Thunder. Good job, good job, good job. Question 14. Name the NBA team by the city or state. The Minnesota what? Minnesota. The NBA team. The Minnesota what? Minnesota. Ooh, what happened? How are we talking about pass holes? How did we get here? 
Disney. Jackson is gone, and yes, hickory sticks. Okay, good, good, good. Nicole, ha, 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 ha. God, they are delicious. Yay, that sounds horrific. Pass holes. I love that word so much. Oh, taco's gone. I wanted to call it. Uh, let's see what you thought. Only one person misspelled a little bit here. I'm going to be a little more strict on this. The Timberwolves. Tim if you wrote it with two words, you still got points. Don't worry. It automatically corrected that for you. Question 15. Name the NBA team by the city or state. Which NBA team plays in Portland? The Portland what? Portland what? Thundercats. Oh. <laughs> Thundercats is like the complete opposite. So close, so far. <laughs> Timberwolves, Thundercats. What were we saying? I wish we had hot chocolate. I can make you hot chocolate. Okay. Make it with your uh, soy milk and stevia and cacao. 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 With a little peppermint. Everybody's in. I'm going to take Blazers for sure. Um, the correct answer here is the Trail Blazers. The Trail Blazers. Good job. Uh, we have one more NBA team. Name the NBA team by the city or state. I think a few of you out there really don't like this team. The Golden State what? Golden State what? Isn't what his name is. Yeah, Chris, wait, Chris? Is that what you're talking He's about? He's on this team. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to say it all. Oh, Maggie's at it. Steph Curry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like him. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you so much for the donation. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I missed any other ones. Hey, thanks, Maggie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the comment says Taco's College Fund. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's adorable. Thanks so much, Maggie. Yeah, what would Taco major in? Culinary arts? Um, Ancient... Chinese history. <laughs> okay. Uh, somebody said, who's ready for hockey season? Fair, fair, fair. Um, this was the Warriors, the Golden State Warriors. I believe former Chicago Bull Steve Kerr was or is the coach. Um, the Warriors, the correct answer. You guys did well. Um, so we don't do sports often, but when we do, uh, you guys still tend to do really well. Um, so uh, let's take a look at the standings. Let's see what's changed after this. Not much. Emily's still in first. Alan Buford, the third and second. The Wrights up to third. Everybody else rotating through. Ha ha ding dong in 16th, right below Jen Sterna. I see the Victors in 26th. Albin in 27th. Better late than never. The Bears, welcome back. Uh, I think you guys have been around, but I love seeing your name out there. Thanks for playing, the Bears. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, a hole numero uno is still up there, top 11. This by Zimi the Balls. Team Sarge. Tacos Party People. I love that that, that team name has come and stayed. Mm -hmm. Miss Laraka and Bert. All right. Uh, we have a picture round coming up. Let's see. Uh, I don't watch baseball, basketball, and I've gotten all these. Yeah, Lindsay, I try to make it approachable. You've heard them. All right. Here we go go the next round is a picture round <coughs> and i think it's a fun one uh so the next round is a picture round which means i'm not going to ask you a question i'm going to show you a picture ask you to identify something for this next one i'm going to show you a picture of an individual whose first name is bob you have to tell me their last name so the next round is famous bobs we've done this before and all of these bobs are different so new bobs same round. <laughs> I'm going to show you a picture of a famous Bob. Some of these are easy. Some of these are tough. You're getting 250 points apiece. So give it your best shot. No cheating, anybody. Here we go. Question 17. Name this famous Bob. Oh. There's one that I'm hoping makes it on here, but it might not. Oh, you can mouth it, dude. Oh, no. Sorry. Not this time. I'm going to flip this to the No. <laughs> I should. I'll just download a picture of Bobby, Bobby Kate, really quick. Aww. That would be hilarious. We should just do a round of like, 
photos of the regular to see if people can guess, like, pre- remember who, who they it are. is. Yeah. Or the other, yeah, I should have put Bobby Kate and Bobby K as as guesses here. Uh, the correct answer here is Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Good job. Most of you got that. Uh, I think that's the easiest one. Question number 18. Na- this is tough, I think. Name this famous Bob. Oh. Hey, my mom loves him. I know. If you had better call Saul fan, main star. Please use Brian. He's the most handsome looking basic white dude. Aw, he is a handsome guy. Basic. Handsome looking basic. And I don't, you know, I. That's fair because I'm half Pakistani, so we're not in the same category. Yeah. So I can be the half guy. Happy little cloud. Happy mistakes. That's my favorite thing. Just some little, just some happy accidents. Happy accidents. The Bobs. This guy was raised in Naperville. Now that I did not know, Lindsay. Slipping Jimmy, yes. Uh, I love Addison's guess was Bob something. <laughs> Bert Addison, Bob something. Yes, Addison, that is correct. Uh, specifically, that is Bob Odenkirk. Uh, Bob Odenkirk, he's been behind a lot of people's favorite things, even though they don't know. Um, he's been a writer forever. TV shows. Oh, he was born in Berwyn. Yeah, I just Googled that. Um yeah, Mr. Show, obviously, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. Um, but I think he wrote some stuff. Yeah, How I Met Your Mother. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's written a lot. SNL, I think he was on there for a little bit. Not on, but writing. Uh, okay, question 19. Maybe. Name this famous Bob. Some movie. I know, right? Just to look like that downtrodden. Yeah, just like, you're just standing there and you're like, Ugh. Um, Amy, so here's some trivia for you. Yes, he was in one episode of The Office, and he played when when Pam went to interview for a job. He was the manager of The Office, and he was basically there, Michael Scott. And the fun part of that is Bob Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk actually um, auditioned for the part of Michael Scott, and Mike uh, Steve Carell got it. But so when they wanted this part, they thought of Bob Odenkirk to play because he could have, he very easily could have been the actual Michael Scott. Um, but yeah, he, he was the fake Michael Scott that Pam realized she couldn't do. She couldn't, she couldn't work there again. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I like the Arrested Development uh, clue here. Bob, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is Bob Dylan. You might have heard of him. He's been around. Forever. Oh, I see Dylan spelled with an I. Good job. Uh, Bob is very sad, yes. You know what I should have put in is the, uh, you remember that commercial? Early 2000s, the guy who was at the hospital and his wife gave birth and so he went to the yeah. payphone and he called his had parents. Baby, it's it's Bob, had a baby, it's a boy. Yep. That's. I should have put a picture of that and you would have had to answer, had oh a baby, God. it's a boy. Uh, number 20, name this famous Bob. Name this famous Bob. He does look very sad, Becky. You were right. Mom said the worst concert she ever went. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go to a Bob Dylan concert. I could see that. Ooh, Lindsay, finish the rewatch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, some of these answers are great. Oops. Somebody just got one. Um... So, Vila is correct. Somebody said Bob, my grandpa. Yeah. I think I have that vest, if we're being fair. Is, doesn't that look like the vest I have? Kind of like yes. the Marty McFly? It does. Um, it does Barbie Ann, no. This is the guy from this old house, uh, but I'm looking for his name. That's Bob Villa. That's 79%. That's as well as you've done, surprisingly, so cheers. All right, here we go. Number 21, final Bob. Hey, Bob. Name this famous Bob. What a cutie. 
I know some people will know this. Oh, yeah. A lot of people, I think. Only one L in Vila, Ali. Oh, thank you for letting me know. Um, I accepted one or two, so it's okay. But I love learning. You're right. You are completely right, Becky. Uh, who was it, Karen? Becky. Becky. Thank you, Becky. Bob Vila Park. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Vila Park. Uh, I will remember that for the future. But one L or two L's got points. Just like I'm very lax with your spelling. Thank you for being lax with mine. <laughs> um, this is not Bob Hope. Um, this is Buddy the Elf's dad, right? Adoptive mm -hmm. father. Yeah. Bob's hairline, though? How oh. rude. Uh, look at the final answer. Bob B. Kate. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who that was. I wonder who that was. Uh, it's not Bob Hope. This is Bob. I'm going to give it the heart. This is Bob Newhart. Bob Newhart, uh, he's done a million things. We have some of his uh, stand-up on vinyl. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he was Buddy the Elf's dad in Elf. It's on Big Bang Theory that we saw recently. Um, that is it for the picture round. So let's take a look. Emily's still in first. The right's up into second. Steffi Star knows her, Bob. She's up into third. Mad Dad playing out of New York in fourth place. Everybody else, check out, see where you're at. Uh, let me get this next round all set up and take a look at the comments. This old house is very important to me. Bob the Builder, Lindsay Davis. Gina was hoping for Bob Belcher mm -hmm. from Bob's Burgers. Uh, we'll do it. You know what? We'll do another Bob round in the future. We'll definitely do another Bob round. Left. Uh, Nicole went from 7th to 25th. That's okay, Nicole. There are lots of questions left. Ten more questions. And guess what? They're worth 300 freaking points apiece. So this is still anybody's game to win. These questions are about anything and everything. Um, let me take a quick look at my... I think some of these are easy, but I think some of these are tough. Um... So we'll see. We'll see how you do. 300 points a piece. Yeah, you're, these com the comment section is just blowing up, and I fucking love it. Um, but I'm trying to stay focused. So 10 questions. We'll do five at a time. Some of these are simple. Some of these are tough, but they're worth 300 points a piece. The only rule, no Googling. Make sure the answer comes out of somebody's brain that's playing, not out of your phone. Um, so here we go. Question 22. I'm going to start the timer. You have 30 seconds to answer. Here we go. Number... 22. What classic rock group scored hits with songs like Feels Like the First Time, Hot Blooded, and Cold as Ice? Do you like that gift? Oh. What classic rock group had hits with songs Feels Like the First Time, Hot Blooded, and Cold as Ice? Could you make me one more of those, please? All right, everybody's in. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Uh, somebody said, I got distracted by this cat. Yeah. Somebody said, Foreigner, Trump's favorite. Yeah, that's going to get points. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Foreigner, it's not my, Motley Crue, it's not Who, yeah, not yeah. Rush, although you all know I love Rush. Uh, so it was Foreigner. Good job, 69% of you. If Crispy was here, a Crispy Social. Cheers, everybody. What do you think that cat was actually doing? Is it like a fly or something? Yeah, that cat was being a cat. Oh, what a boy. Pass the dog. Get on over here. Thing. All right, question 23. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, pictured here, played scientist Seth Brundle in what 1986 sci-fi thriller that follows an unfortunate side effect of a teleportation device gone wrong? Jeff Goldblum. Just looking for the name of the film where he played scientist Seth Brundle. 1986. Fortunate side effects of a teleportation device gone wrong.
Jen Stern, I'd go see that Cats band. Yeah, me too. You know he was shredding. I was about to write Hairbangers Ball, but I didn't because we brain farted and didn't send it in time. Uh, Karen, I also liked his show on Disney. Yeah, with the, the sneakers and what was the other one? Ice cream, tattoos. Wasn't it like, um, not Discovery, just like. The World yeah. According to Jeff. Yeah. Hey, something like that. Yeah, there you go. I watched like the first three or four episodes and I haven't, I like doing that. I like getting into a show and then forgetting about it for six months when it comes out like week to week because then I can go back and binge it. We've, we're so spoiled now. You know, usually, like on Netflix, you get a season at once. So when a show comes out on HBO and they're like, yeah, you're going to get one episode a season. I'm like, fuck you. Like, I'll watch it next year. No, thank you. But I admit that I'm spoiled. Language. Oh, F you. Uh, the correct answer was The Fly. Help me. Help me. 69% of you got it right. Congratulations on the crispy social. What an odd dude, somebody said. Uh, somebody else said Weird Science Apartments.com movie. No clue, but I just watched Jurassic Park recently and he was in that. Life uh, finds a way. Uh, yes, he was in it. Love it. Life finds a way. Question 24. The most famous running of the bulls, which takes place annually during the nine day festival of San Fermines in honor of Saint Fermin is found in what Spanish city of roughly 200,000 people? Uh, <laughs> yeah. That foreigner answer, Trump's favorite, that was my boss. Oh, I love it. Great, great <laughs> answer. Uh, my husband says he got Cronenberg. <laughs> Start practicing with pictures of Hercules Mulligan and Jean Laurent. Ooh, Tactical. what are we talking about? Uh, uh, Hamilton round. Picture oh. round. Oh, we'll do a Hamilton picture round. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. Sounds like a COVID disaster, yeah. Go outside, Taco. Right, I gotta fix a lot of these misspelled answers. Not Barcelona, fuck, is correct. The correct answer is Pamplona. The running of the Bulls in Pamplona. We're creating rounds. Um, hey, while I have you, really quick, I know you guys are joking out there, but realistically, uh, I'm not promising that I'll do every one of them, but if you have ideas for picture rounds, or the mini bonus rounds, or um, mostly those two. If you have if you have ideas, please send them to us. Because um, if it works, I'll do it. Uh, I'm always looking for more ideas. I'm very open to it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but please, like the Hamilton round, somebody mentioned that we're gonna do that um, in the next couple weeks. Um, so so give me those ideas. I'm not promising that I'll do them, but I I love seeing those ideas come through it and usually i can make them work so thank you guys question 25 uh, a last name is fine here last name is fine which scottish scientist is credited with discovering penicillin back in 1928 which scottish scientist credited with discovering penicillin back in 1928 so <laughs> Uh, send me those ideas on Facebook, my friends. I see Jen and Bobby. Those are good ideas. Uh, but if you put them in the YouTube chat, it's going to disappear as soon as I close this video. So send me those ideas on Facebook, please. I love it. Jen started a famous swords from Game of Thrones. Oh my Ice. Gosh. It's not thinking of spelling. Long Claw. Widow's Whale. Uh, Lion Tooth. Heart's Bane. Ooh, I can come up with quite a few. Needle? Yeah, Danielle. Love it. Aria's little fuck you to people that said she needs to just be a little girl and so She said, oh, you know what? I'll name my sword Needle. And then I can just yeah. say I'm always practicing with my needle. Ah. Oops. 
All right, it wasn't Pasteur, it wasn't Marie Curie, it wasn't Jonas Salk. He gave us the polio vaccine. This was Sir Alexander Fleming. Um, as long as you put Fleming, you got points. Sir Alexander Fleming is how I had it typed, so that's what shows up. That's question 25, so here's the standings. Emily in first, The Wrights in second, Steffi Star in third, Mad Dad right there in fourth. Ooh. Amy, I love it. Famous mustache picture I round. Love I love that round. Don't be surprised if you see that on Wednesday. That is awesome. My mom said baseball movies. Baseball movies? Yeah. The Natural, League of Their Own, Field of Dreams, Field of Dreams Moneyball, of Angels in the Outfield. There's a lot of them. Great idea, Laura. Uh, somebody else. Hey, thanks, Linda, for the donation. I don't know if I already said that or not. All right, my friends, we have six questions left. Let's see how you do. This is anybody's game. You can see first to second. Uh, place is only about 100 points, 110 points to be specific, and each question is worth 300 points. So keep it fair, keep it honest, keep it fun. <laughs> Abigail Griffin, mold, carpet, diseases, disasters, Phineas and Fur. Right, Jesus. I'm going well, to write a mold question one day just for you, Abigail, but if you're not here, I will cry. All right, here we go. Question 26. Though he is most famous using a stage name, what controversial musician's given name is Brian Warner? By what stage name would you better know the individual whose given name is Brian Warner? The competition is tight. Yes, it is, Danielle. It's very close. You know this one? Remember the um, urban legend? Yeah. <laughs> there was more than one about him. Yeah, I'm loving these round ideas that are coming through. All right, everybody's in. This is, I'll tell you, ever since I've learned who this individual was, I'll say 40% of the time when I try to say his name, I say Marilyn Monroe. There's no reason <laughs> really? for it. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, that song by Marilyn Monroe. I mean, Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson, the correct answer. Brian Warner. Um, if you've never seen a picture of him um, completely without makeup, Yeah, just like chill dude, you know? Not crazy. There he is. Now you know. Oh, that's probably more recent. Anyway. Oh, wow. Get back to it, Ollie. <laughs> uh, question 27. Sports! Angelica's aren't here. The Green Bay Packers won the first two Super Bowls, as we learned last week, in 1967 and then in 1968. Which team won Super Bowl number three? in 1969. So you just have to tell me the team that won Super Bowl number three in 1969. Also NATO phonetic code. Abigail, you're after my heart right now. You know I love that NATO alphabetic code. Um, I haven't even told Gina this. But for this weekend coming up for our Zoom night, I'm working on, and hopefully it works, don't hold me to this. If it doesn't happen, don't beat me up. But I'm working on doing a Family Feud style game where we could play a little more interactive. We teams. Play teams? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> we can do either Family Feud, Jeopardy, or Wheel of Fortune. I'm working on those three. So get excited. That is exciting. I am excited. All right, everybody's in. I'm just marking some of these abbreviations right. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Good guess. 
Not the Minnesota Vikings, correct. Uh, this guy is rocking it on the field, though. The New York Jets won the third Super Bowl in 1969. Nice. Question 28. What rock star's ashes were scattered both in the Ganges River and in San Francisco in 1996? So which rock star had his ashes split into two pieces? Half were uh, scattered into the Ganges River and half were scattered in San Francisco in 1996. Abigail Griffin Family Feud would be fun. Milton Lenz. Okay, so I need to post a form though because I need to get 100 responses for like 100 questions out of 100 people surveyed. Yeah, there's more well, work than people, you think to this. Other people who play can't answer. Right? They can because they don't know what everybody else said. I guess that's they true. just know what they said. Uh, so it's it's. Uh, I'm gonna make it happen, my friends. I'm going to make it happen, but uh, it's just taking some time. Are y'all gonna be like semi dirty like this? No, not all of them. Okay, that's good. John Bon freaking Jovi is still very much alive. Uh, he's not dead. So good guess. Excuse me. Yeah, multiple people said Bon Jovi, but he's still alive. George Harrison is dead. Kurt Cobain is dead. Freddie Mercury. This is making me really sad right now. Um, but the correct answer is Jerry Garcia. Uh, Kurt Cobain was a little earlier, 1994. I mean, either way, his ashes weren't spread in these places. Um, Ali, can you yeah. Logan that he is a party pooper? Logan, you're a party pooper. What a party pooper, Logan. Um, this is Jerry Garcia. So he performed. His final concert was actually in Chicago, uh, Soldier Field, I believe, in 1995. And then his ashes were scattered in 96 in these two places. Number 29. Looking for the name of a president of the United States. I'm so sorry to my Canadian friends. Serving as the 14th president of the United States, who was the first president to ever have a Christmas tree, in the White House. Survey said, yes, Christiane, that's the whole reason I want to do this, just so I can say that over and over. But you can't kiss everybody. I'm going to hold Taco, and I'm going to kiss him every time. Oh, thanks for playing. Can we just welcome, acknowledge welcome. that you said you were going to kiss Taco every time, even though I will be sitting next to you. But your first thought was that you will kiss Taco every time. Well, because time. if you're actually playing and I kiss you all the time, then people think we're cheating. Shut up. Uh, I'll be so drunk. Yes, Lindsay. Yes. <laughs> Survey says yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, a few of you got this right. Oh, you know what? He hasn't been there in a while, so I'm going to show you. Taco just jumped up on his chair. Um, the correct answer, most, not most, but a lot of you got this. Wow, smart you came. <laughs> yeah, Franklin Pierce, 14th president of the United States. I like that guy. Somebody said fat-ass Taft. <laughs> <laughs> I still, in the four months that we've been doing this, um, and this, oh, he's nesting. Um, this is not to talk down on any other answers. I love all of your answers. But I still think that my favorite answer over the last four months is when somebody said, William Taft to the new bath. Me too. That Who was that the answer? most no. incredible answer. William Taft to the new bath. I think about it like daily. Uh, okay, here we go. Two questions left. That was Maggie Wimp. Yeah, see, Jen remembers it, too, remembers it too. Also, I just called her Jen, so like, what's this day coming to? Here we go, number 30. What, uh, this picture is not a clue. Don't read into the artist, just uh, representing the, the album uh, label here. What famous musician founded the record company Reprise Records in 1960? What famous musician founded Reprise Records in 1960? Oh, okay. Middleton Lenz. Uh, so I, I'm not going to do it tonight. And tonight we're just playing for, for, for fun, my friends. We have a sponsored game on Wednesday. We have the Saz's gift card. Uh, but I just discovered they updated the system that we use, and I can give bonus points now. Um, so when we joke about bonus points, I don't ever do it. Uh, but I can technically give bonus points now. All right, everybody's in. If you just gave me a last name, obviously that's going to be fine here. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lollipop. 
I'm not Abby is seriously excited about mold. Maggie, what, about what? Mold. Abby. Gotta have oh, questions. good, good. All right, the correct answer was Frank Sinatra. Good job, my friends. We have one question left. Let's do it. Question 31. Uh, together, Haiti and the Dominican Republic make up what island in the Caribbean? Haiti and Dominican Republic together are both part of what island in the Caribbean? Oh, am I? Oh, Becky, I'm on top chat too. Shit. Never top chat. I know. Live chat for life. Live chat for life. There's our, another shirt. That's, that's, that's our new shirt. Live chat for life. Oh, add it to the list. No. What did you all miss? So what I want to know is like, if you have top chat on, do you sometimes see comments and you're like, what the heck? That is related to Remember the other day? I, I, I think asking. what they do, top chat um, filters out people who put like five, um, five chats in a row. Like if you just boom, 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 boom. Well, no, because you're a moderator, so it won't filter out anything you say. I'll just make everybody moderate. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. That's not going to happen. Don't at me. Uh, let's see the correct answer. Ooh, somebody spelled it like the sauce. I'll take it. I'll take it. The island of Haiti and <laughs> Dominican Republic. Good guess. Uh, this one's close. Yes, yes. Uh, it's Hispaniola, Hispaniola, the correct answer. 61% of you got it right. Uh, it's not enough for a real social, but I have a lot of drink left, so cheers, everybody. Well, that's the last question. Well, my computer's about to die, so press the pen. There's a, it's plugged in. You can plug it in. I thought you were plugged No, in. I plugged it in. Just <laughs> 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 I am dumb. All right. So I guess you keep playing trivia. Canada can never be on the same page. Christiane, I just have to say... Uh, Gina worked today at her job uh, outside of here, and I ate like 97 of the things that you guys <laughs> sent us from Canada. I ate candy bars, I ate ketchup chips, I ate the all dress chip, uh, the cookies, nonstop. All dressed cookies? <laughs> Not all dressed cookies. I ate all dressed chips, and Did I ate. Did you try cookies. the ketchup Doritos? Not yet. I haven't opened okay. Doritos, no. Just a single serve chip. So thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to pretty much make it a. A tradition for myself to have a Caesar every time we do Zoom. Mm. Yeah, because that was fucking delicious last time. All right, that's it, my friends. That's all the questions. So, yes, yeah, see? The, the Caesars, yes. Arab. Okay, before we do the final standings, while I have you at attention, let me just tell you one more time what we have coming up this week. Tonight's Monday. So we had music bingo. We did general knowledge trivia just now. We're about to finish. Tomorrow is my day off. We're not doing anything. On Wednesday, music bingo at 7 o'clock with Bobby K. Please come out. Have, have a good time. He's he, so he is making a set list of all of the best songs, his favorite songs from the last four months. So I promise you, you'll love it. Please support him. Um, don't donate to Bag of Tricks for music bingo. We don't do much. Bobby K plays his ass off. Henry JBC plays his ass off. So come play music bingo and send a donation to, to Bobby K or Henry JBC when you do. We you know we really appreciate that you support these incredible musicians that like us don't have a lot going on outside of you know sitting behind our computer. Um, so Wednesday at seven is music bingo. Nine o'clock is general knowledge trivia sponsored by the incredible Sazes. Some delicious barbecue. Uh, as soon as we can, we're taking a trip to Milwaukee. I can tell you that. Oh, I miss Milwaukee. Yeah, straight to Milwaukee to Canada. We'll just go way <laughs> over there to Saskatchewan. It's fine. Um, uh, and then on Thursday at 7 o'clock is General Knowledge Trivia. Categories chosen by the donation drawing winner this week. 9 o'clock is The Good Place Trivia slash Jen Sterna, Husband Sterna birthday celebration yeah. so do not miss that and then again usually we do fundraiser friday um this week the the company that is doing trivia you don't have to donate to to play you can just play for free um it is put on by the mount prospect library we're doing disney trivia and last but not least um i won't be hosting it i'm going to be excited to just be watching with you guys i won't be playing because i'm writing the questions but Phoebe will be hosting, the incredible Phoebe will be hosting Disney Trivia on Friday night. So please join us for any or all of those. Thank you so much to those of you that have donated. 
Uh, I just saw another one come through. So thank you so much for the donations to Bake of Tricks. If you've donated tonight, you're in the drawing for next week to get to choose our categories for trivia. Um, but with all of that said, let's take a look at the standings. If you're in first place tonight, everybody is going to be in awe, and we're going to applaud you together. Here we go. In first place, drum roll, please. <laughs> Emily! Emily, grab that lead, never let go. 6,517 points, only 10 points ahead of the right. Mad Dad out of New York in third. Staying up late. It's 1110 on the East Coast right now. Thank you so much for being here, Mad Dad. Uh, I see Alvin out there, Sex Panther, Heather, so many people. Thank you so much for being here. That is it for trivia. Uh, you guys are talking about all sorts of stuff. I can't even keep we're up. We're talking about food. We're talking about the good place. We're talking about ketchup chips. We're talking about music bingo. Fantastic. Great job, Emily. We're Yay. proud of you. Um, thank you so much for being here. We'll see you all on Wednesday for Music Bingo yeah. and Trivia. Until then, please send me ideas for uh, the mini bonus rounds for picture rounds or the other type of mini bonus rounds, the Ouija rounds, as I call it. Um, you know, if you have any fun suggestions, we're always here for you. Like I, like I said, I can't promise we'll do everything you, you send and you suggest, but the more you send, the more options we have and the more we'll get to. So. Um, with that said, thank you so much for being here. Please, please take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. Stay home if you can still. And wash your damn and hands. And continue to be awesome. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Live chat for life. Live chat.